Hey guys, and welcome back to Bunches of Lunches. Today, I have oodles of fun but easy lunch ideas to share with you. And I'm super excited for this week because it was Kids Choice Week. My kids got to pick out not only the food, but the exciting theme as well. Now before we get started, make sure you're subscribed and go ahead and click the notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any of our new videos. And speaking of missing out, did you happen to see Wednesday's challenge video? The kids did the Don't Choose the Wrong Happy Meal Challenge. I'll put the link down below if you'd like to check it out and let us know what challenge you think we should do next week. And without further ado, let's get on to the lunches. Hi guys and welcome to Monday. Today's lunch was chosen by Lily. And Lily loves Paw Patrol. Let me know in the comments down below if you're a fan of Paw Patrol or if you have a younger brother or sister who loves Paw Patrol. The Paw Patrol theme was really easy to do because there's tons of Paw Patrol stuff at the grocery store, such as these chicken nuggets. Now, I didn't realize this when I bought these, but these are actually maple flavored breakfast nuggets. I thought they were just regular chicken nuggets. I'm not sure if the kids will like them, but they do come in their really fun Paw Patrol shapes. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook those up first. Now these come fully cooked, so they just take about 10 to 15 minutes in the oven. And I have to say, they really do smell like maple. That's kind of weird. I'm not sure if the kids will like it. So while these nuggets are still piping hot, I'm gonna get them into my thermoses and get the lid on so they can stay warm until lunchtime. Now moving on to the rest of Lily's lunch. For her vegetable today, Lily chose a broccoli salad. I'm putting the salad in a separate bowl and then when she's ready, she can add her own salad dressing in this cute little bottle. I got this at Dysa recently and it's so cute. So I'm gonna fit this container right down in here. It barely fits, but we got it in there. The next thing I'm gonna throw into this lunch is some string cheese. But of course, it's Paw Patrol themed string cheese. And I'm gonna give Lily the one with Sky on it because that's definitely her favorite character. So cute. Now moving on to the fruit. Lily loves lots of different kinds of fruit, but she's really into pears right now. And I have just a few of these little tiny ones left over from last week. And they're small enough that I can actually fit them inside the lunchbox. For an added snack today, Lily chose these mango pops from Costco. We've never had these before. These are made of mangoes, apricots, chia seeds, and granola. They say that they're sweet and tangy. They sound pretty good. And now it's time to throw in a drink. We have a ton of these good to grow bottles and the bottle toppers. We definitely save them and re reuse them all the time. Quite often I'll just put water in these bottles, but today this one has apple juice. And then last but not least, we also have the treat of the day, which are these super cute Paw Patrol graham crackers. Now these are actually cinnamon graham crackers, even better I think. And the box has all of the characters, but of course I'm gonna give Lily the one with Sky on it. I think this lunch turned out so cute. I know she's going to love it. Okay guys, time to see how they did. Overall, not too bad, I see that all all the chicken nuggets are gone, but I do see that quite a lot of these are left. What was wrong with these, you guys? I'm not sure. I just don't like them. No, I have to say I tried these and they are not very sweet at all, which is which could be a good thing, but if you're looking for more flavor, these don't have them. But guys, maybe you can tell me what your favorite part was. I actually have two favorite parts. Yes. I really like the chicken nuggets that tasted like maple. Yeah, I wasn't sure about those. What else? I also really loved the graham crackers. These guys? Yeah. Yeah. Really what was your favorite, Lily? This was this lunch was all about you. My favorite was the chicken nuggets, um, the salad, and the pail. <laughs> what do you think about the salad dressing? It was really good. Yeah, that's my favorite. What about you, Jack? My favorite was the pear. The pear, yeah, yours is completely gone. <laughs> Did you throw away the rest? Uh -huh. Yeah. And you also ate another one. You ate two pears? Uh-huh. Well, that's good. You definitely need to use those up before they go bad. Okay, good job today, guys. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning and happy Tuesday. Today, it's Mackenzie's turn to pick out the lunch, and she chose an Ariel themed. I love The Little Mermaid, such a cute movie. And since The Little Mermaid is from under the sea, 
I'm gonna start by making a sea creature out of these hot dogs. They're uncured, but really I just get these ones because I think they taste the best. Now to make these dogs look more like sea creatures, I'm also gonna be using some uncooked spaghetti. And this is just good old regular spaghetti. I have tried this with gluten-free spaghetti and it didn't work out so well because gluten-free noodles are a little bit more fragile, but you could use those if you needed to. So basically, I just broke the spaghetti noodle in half and shoved it up inside the hot dog. And I tried to make sure that there were eight pieces of spaghetti in each hot dog. So I don't know, maybe this is an octopus, maybe it's some kind of other sea creature, I'm not quite sure, but I am sure that it's gonna taste great. Now cooking these couldn't be easier. I'm just gonna go ahead and add them to some hot water and let them boil until the noodles are soft. This just takes a few minutes. I think these look so funny. And while they're still piping hot, I'm gonna get them into the thermoses. Next, I'm gonna move on to the vegetable, or technically the fruit, if you wanna be super technical. It's just a cucumber, but I'm gonna make it into a cucumber salad by using my little noodle toy. You just stick the cucumber in, twist it around, and long, cucumber noodles come out. You can actually use this with lots of different kinds of vegetables. It's really fun. Definitely different than your regular old <laughs> slices of cucumber. So I'm keeping this cucumber salad pretty simple. I could add other vegetables, but I'm not going to. Next, I'm gonna add a scoop full of these oyster crackers. Now these do not actually taste like oysters or fish or anything like that. For the fruit today, Mackenzie chose strawberries. And believe it or not, the best looking strawberries in my whole town were actually at Target. Next up, I'm adding a yogurt drink. Mackenzie's a big fan of yogurt drink, and I actually really like this brand. You can find this a lot at Asian markets, and I used to drink this one all the time when I lived in Japan. These ones are strawberry flavored, and there's lots of probiotics in them. Now for Mackenzie's special treat today, she chose something new from Costco that we've never had before. They are the half-dipped dark chocolate pineapple rings. That is a very long name for such a simple snack. I think the combination of chocolate and pineapple could be good, it could be weird. We'll see what she thinks after the lunch. And then last but not least, I'm gonna throw in an aerial drink. Okay guys, what did you think of Mackenzie's lunch today? I liked it. <laughs> you liked it? What about you, Kenzie? I thought it was awesome. What was your favorite part, Jack? Um, I like the the juice. The little yogurt drink. Yeah, those are so good. I used to drink these all the time in Japan. What else? And I like the squid dogs. Those. Wait a minute. Can you guys hear that? Yeah, it's raining. It's pouring. It's pouring. pouring. Yeah, it's really raining outside. Okay, so it looks like everybody really liked the octopus dogs, but it looks like you weren't big fans of the salad, except for maybe Kenzie. I love cucumbers. Yeah, that's why you picked them for your lunch. What was your favorite, Lily? Um, my favorite was the drink. The yogurt drink, too? Well, good job today, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Bye, yeah. Whose lunch is for, whose lunch is coming tomorrow? Mine! <laughs> Jackson's lunch is tomorrow. Hey there, and welcome to Wednesday. So today's lunch was chosen by Jackson. And I'm super excited that he chose this Jurassic Park dinosaur theme because I love my girly pink themes, but it's really fun to mix things up and do different themes as well. So for the main course of Jackson's lunch, he chose good old mac and cheese, but I found this really cute dinosaur themed mac and cheese, which will be perfect for today's lunch. Now this mac and cheese definitely looks cute, but it cooks up just like any mac and cheese really. You boil the noodles, you drain them, you add butter and milk, and the powdered cheese. And now that the mac and cheese is good to go, I'm gonna add it to the thermoses, which are preheated. Now that just means that at about 30 minutes before I actually put the food in the thermos, I'll fill them up with boiling hot water and screw the lid on tight. Then, right before I put the food in, I'll dump out the hot water, and this can actually help the food stay hotter longer in the thermos. And now to build the rest of Jackson's lunch. And then for the vegetable today, Jackson chose sugar snap peas. He's really not big on vegetables in general, but he does like these. For the fruit today, Jackson chose a combination of honeydew melon and blueberries. 
And then for an added snack, I'm gonna throw in these new yogurt packs. I found these at Target, and it's basically a chocolate yogurt on one side and pretzels on the other that you can actually dip into the yogurt. So those should be really fun to try. And it looks like it's gonna barely just fit in the lunchbox. All I have to do is kind of push it down in there. For the special treat of the day, Jackson chose some good old fruit snacks. My kids love fruit snacks. It's definitely a treat around here. And these ones are actually Jurassic World themed, so there's lots of different dinosaur shapes in there. And then of course we have the special drink. No, this video is not sponsored by good to grow We just really love them. They're super cute. And like I said, we will actually reuse and refill these bottles with water all the time. Okay guys, lunch is over now and you can tell that it wasn't their favorite. It's a perfect example. The perfect example that the kids don't always love the lunches that I pack. But I do have them with me so they can tell you what they thought. The pasta wasn't very cheesy. Yes, I hate to say it. This does look like a very healthy alternative to mac and cheese, but it's not very cheesy. So if you like that really good craft cheese taste, you might not want to get this one. So yeah, there's a little bit of mac and cheese left. Oh, Jackson, you ate yours. Uh -huh, good job. I liked it. Oh, he liked it, okay. But you didn't really like your yogurt? No. I do think that chocolate yogurt is a little bit weird sometimes. And the salty pretzel with the sour chocolate, I don't know if that's a great combination. Maybe if this was vanilla yogurt instead, that might be better. What do you think, Lily? Um, my favorite was the drink. The drink, yes. Apple juice is always good. Can't go wrong with apple juice. Okay guys, I will see you tomorrow. What's up guys, happy Thursday. For today's lunch, the kids got together and they all chose a different part of this lunch. So I'm gonna start by cooking something that they all love. I'm gonna make my super easy sweet and sour meatballs. To make this really easy, I'm using some frozen meatballs. I'm gonna pop the meatballs in the microwave to get those defrosted. And while that's happening, I'm gonna chop up all of my peppers. And I'm chopping these pretty small because they're really not gonna cook very long. They're still gonna be nice and crunchy, so I don't want the pieces to be really big. Now I will go ahead and put a link to this recipe in the description box below if you'd like to check it out. But basically, I just have to combine all of these ingredients with a little bit of cornstarch to thicken it up. And then once it is nice and thick, I'm gonna throw in my peppers, my pineapple chunks, and my defrosted meatballs. And then I'm gonna cook this on low for about 10 minutes just to make sure that everything's nice and hot before I add this to the thermos. And speaking of the thermos, I did go ahead and put a couple spoonfuls of brown rice at the bottom of the thermos because I really like to serve this over rice. It is so good. And there you have it. This is so easy to make. It smells so good and it tastes even better. So so to go along with the meatballs, I do have something new for the kids to try. This is the guava passion fruit yogurt from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's usually has a really good yogurt, but we've never tried this flavor, so we'll have to wait and see if they like it or not. For the fruit today, I'm keeping it super simple. I'm just gonna throw in a mandarin orange, and then I have something really special for the kids to try. I recently got to attend a fancy food expo, and while I was there, I got to try lots of fun new food products, including these guys. So these are little fruit bites made by the Perfectly Free Company, and it's basically, the outside has a grape-like skin, and the inside tastes like fruit purees. I think these are super delicious. They come in lots of different flavors. But since I'm going with sort of a tropical theme today, I'm gonna throw in the pineapple mango flavored ones. For our vegetable today, I'm keeping it super simple too. I'm just gonna throw in some baby carrots with some ranch for dipping. Now for this special treat today, this is actually something that Jackson picked out on our last grocery haul, which would have posted yesterday if you wanna check that video out. But these are basically a coconut flavored wafer roll, and there's also some chia seeds in there. They're really tasty. So I'm just gonna put a few in these containers. And then last but not least, I also have a couple different options for the drink. I have some of these really fun Moana drinks, which are actually a fruit and a veggie blend. Or I also have some coconut water for the kids to try if they'd like to. Now, personally, I really like coconut water, but you'll have to let me know. I'll pop in a poll right here, and you can let me know if you like it or if you don't. Okay guys, lunchtime is over, and you can definitely tell they did not care for the yogurt. What was wrong with it? It was very sour. 
Yeah, I probably wouldn't buy that flavor again, especially since Trader Joe's has a lot of better flavors. Let's see, what'd you think about the meatballs? Those were really good, but I didn't like the peppers. What was your favorite part, Lily? My favorite was the drink. The <laughs> drink? Okay, what about you, Jack? My favorite was the coconut rolls. <laughs> That's what you picked from Costco, huh? Okay, not too bad today. I would definitely make those meatballs again, because I think they're really good. See you tomorrow, friends! Hey there, and happy Friday! For today's lunch, I went with one of our favorite characters that we all love, and of course, that's Mickey Mouse. We love Mickey, we love Disney. But anyway, for this lunch, I'm gonna start by making some good old Campbell's tomato soup. But this is a special Mickey soup. But to tell you the truth, it's really just regular tomato soup with Mickey Mouse on the can. That's, that's the only difference. And to go along with the tomato soup, I'm gonna make everyone's favorite grilled cheese. My kids love grilled cheese and I probably make it about once a week these days. It's super popular around here. And I just made these extra fun by using my Mickey Mouse sandwich cutter. Now to tell you the truth, this isn't my favorite tomato soup. I have a separate video on that if you'd like to check it out. It's actually Disneyland's copycat recipe for tomato soup. But this Campbell's tomato soup is certainly a lot faster. So that's what we're going with today. So for the lunch, we have the grilled cheese, of course, and the tomato soup. Next, I'm gonna add these mini pepperoni sticks. The kids will love these. They're such a quick snack and they're not too spicy. Next, I'm gonna throw in some cucumber, but instead of ranch today, I'm gonna offer the kids some hummus. They usually love this. And then for the fruit, I have two different kinds of apples. I have the Mickey Mouse freeze-dried apples. These are nice and crunchy and very sweet. Or I have a good old regular Fuji apple with a Mickey Mouse sticker on it. And then last but not least for the treat today, I'm just gonna throw in this small pack of Oreos. There's just two little Oreos in there, the perfect serving size. And that is it, that's everything in our Mickey lunch. Okay guys, what was your favorite part about the Mickey Mouse lunch? Cause I can already tell you didn't really like the tomato soup. No, I don't no. like soup that much. But what did you like? What was your favorite part? I really liked the grilled cheese sandwich. Yep. What about you, Jack? I like the grilled cheese sandwich too. And Lily, did you I, like it? I like the apples. The apples. Make sure to come back tomorrow for the subscriber lunches. Thanks for watching. See you next time.